All right, let's see if I can show you how to make a sign look older or distressed or something like that. It's really a neat uh, effect that you can use and, and accomplish very easily in flexi sign and print. Uh, first of all, I've got my sign over here on the right. Now, I want to point out this is a bitmap, and then I have some distress that I'm going to use here on the left-hand side. Maybe it's old wood or could be any other bitmap. Uh, and I'll show you how to do this pretty quickly. I got this actually by going to uh, Google. I just went, you know, Google and I typed in distressed wood or something like that. And I just happened to select this particular one. That's the way I got it, right? All right, let's go back over here. So here's the thing. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure that this is going to be on top of your other image. So you can see it's on top right there. And if you take a look at this image right here, uh, what I want to do is I want this to cover the image, but if I kind of resize it to about the right size, let me just resize this real quick. See how that's a little hard to see like that. Uh, here's what I want you to do. Go to the view menu and choose show preview. And that way when you're moving stuff over other things, you can see underneath it. And that gives you a way to kind of resize things to, you know, get them a little closer to the size you want. Now, if you'll notice also, I'm going to resize this pretty carefully but um, it's actually over the top of the white area here and that's gonna give me white behind this image here. I don't really want that. So I need to make that background behind this bitmap transparent. And you can do that, just go to the bitmap menu and choose make transparent. I'm gonna choose the white background. You can see it selected that. And then I'm gonna say, okay. Okay, and that made it transparent back there. So now that's invisible. And I'm gonna do one other thing. I'm gonna take this graphic here that I've made a transparent background behind, and I'm gonna to go to the effects menu and choose outline. And you can choose any color you want. And you want, you want this to be really small, if not zero, okay? Uh, and I'll show you why. I'm gonna outline it, and then I'm gonna right click on my bitmap that I've outlined, and I'm gonna separate the outline. And we're gonna end up with three separate pieces here, right? So I've got my graphic here that I want to use for distress. I've got an outline. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to take these two pieces and I'm going to line them up, okay? And make sure that whole thing is, you know, nice and green. We're going to bring it to the front, okay? Let's bring that uh, background there to the front like that. And I just want to make sure that this is lined up as closely as possible with the one on top there, okay? And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Just wanna make sure it's almost identical like that. Now let's take both of those images, right click, and we're gonna mask it. See how it's kind of the shape of the elephant now? That's what I'm after, okay? Let's take both of these and we'll line those up like this. And again, if you need to make a little adjustment, sometimes you have to do this, sometimes you don't, that's fine. Just kind of adjust it so that it's right over the top of the the piece underneath. Now I can't see the elephant underneath, that's fine. I'm actually going to right click, I'm not going to click here because it's going to do away with my fill stroke editor over here and I'm going to use this last tab to apply some blending mode. So to get to the bitmap that's been masked, I'm going to right click, select within, and I'm going to click on the bitmap and that kind of gets to that bitmap. Now I can use this blending mode and I'll go all the way to the bottom first and choose linear burn and you'll see what it does. It, it kind of applies it on there. Now I could adjust the brightness and contrast and make this look uh, pretty distressed, you know, like it's on old wood or whatever. But uh, you can, by the way, you can just scroll through here and see the effects of all the other kinds of um, uh, blending modes here. One I like a lot is hard light because what that does is kind of adjust the, the brightness and, and so forth in different areas. And, it, and this now looks like the print of uh, this logo on an old piece of lumber that's got these colors in it, you know? Now you could do this with rusty looking textures. You could do this with uh, peeling paint, all kinds of things to create that distressed look to your uh, signage there. So just follow this uh, particular few steps here and it's very easy to do in FlexiSign.